Thanks for joining us today, guys. We have a great podcast in store. It's me and Ben, and then we have a special guest, Amy. She is a full-time rideshare driver in the Grand Rapids area. We talked to her about some questions about being a female driver. A couple things we touched on, um, people getting tickets for parking in front of the Bob, which is just keeps on going and going. Um, we talked about an algorithm that Uber is has a patent for, or requested a patent for, to detect if the passenger is too drunk to ride in an Uber. Uh, watch a video uh, on YouTube called Terry Tips. Very funny. Uh, that'll be in the show notes. And uh, also talked about a terrible accident between a Lyft driver and another driver that were both under the influence of drugs. And unfortunately, the Lyft passenger was killed. We talked, had some few questions about um, from our local Facebook group and some current events. All these will be in the show notes. You can click on those and uh, enjoy. All right. Welcome to the GR Ride Share podcast. Uh, what episode is this? 13. There are people that say they don't want to knit late label the episodes as numbers because if they stop it's like kind of dumb but i don't care and i found out that itunes uh after they will only host 100 episodes and then they start dropping off so interesting so all right today uh we have ben and then we have amy and i do not i'm not going to attempt to pronounce your last name so aronowski aronowski so it's polish yeah i married a polack Uh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so basically what we do is kind of run down the list just our introduction so why don't you tell me how long you've been driving and your if you know your rating and how many rides i know this is kind of a surprise on that part of it but i've been driving a year and a month my rating just turned to 4.94 last week that's really Yay. good and uh yeah <laughs> What was the other question? Um, how many rides? Oh, I, I don't know that. Close to 2,000. Okay. Yeah. Um, and how long you been doing it for full time? About six months. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what kind of Cece did the same thing. She was part time for a while and then right. she jumped in the full time in December. I think so. Yeah. 17. So oh, okay. you're you're right around the same time then. We're yeah. into June. So. Right, right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, are you planning on continuing to do this, or are you looking for full time work? I'm looking for full time work, but even when I find it, I'll definitely do it on the weekends. Okay. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right. It is. Yeah. So, yeah. when is your shift? Do you do a shift, or <laughs> do, you do, do, do you do a shift, or do you uh... Peter Brady? Yeah. <laughs> um, do I do a shift? Like, um, do you do get up in the morning, and work six to four, or I've... six to two, or? I've tried to do five to nine. Five a.m. to and nine. A, yes, and and that's really good. That's a really good shift. Okay. However, it's really hard for me to work to get up at five o'clock in the morning. That's tough. It's tough. It, yeah. It, the money's there. Okay. Know, it's there. Uh, otherwise, I work at in the evening. Start around eight and go till two around. Okay. Two, two or three. So you work the five to nine, come home, do whatever, and then go out at, in the evening. Yes, that's the plan. But it's been summer, so I'm like, oh, let's go. Oh, to the beach. it's been so crappy. I yeah. mean, just the. I mean, my goal on a Friday night now is a hundred dollars, even yeah. on Saturday night, I and know. I'm like, <sighs> and there's no surge. You wait for the surge. There's nothing. Yep. No. Yep. You just have to be smart. I mean, even without surge, I mean, it, you were holding out last weekend for a big ride, and I just started taking everything. Just yeah. even on a small surge, like close to bar close, I'm just like, I'm taking it because I don't know what I'm going to get. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. but did you work this past weekend? I did. Uh, I both, did. both nights? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you're just Uber X, right? Yes. Or, yeah. Correct. Okay. Yep. Um, what did you have? A, like, how was your money? If I like made like one ten on Friday and I made like one eighty on Saturday. Like eighty nine dollars for oh. six hours. Yeah, Ooh. it was really bad. Wow. It was really, really bad. And then I waited so oh, I waited for that surge and nothing. I okay. think it one of those nights, maybe Thursday or Friday, it was nothing. Uh, Do you remember that? Yeah. You just wait and look at it. Turn red, turn red. Well, I feel yeah. like I'm not going to wait for it. That's why I told him. I'm like, yeah. I'm not going to wait. Now, I am XL, and I can take X off. So yeah. I will only do XLs at yeah. that time just so I – I mean, if I'm going to – if it's going to be a low surge, I might as well get as much money in. I always tell people, if you're going to continue to do it full time, you should 
when you're ready to upgrade for a car, you should upgrade to an XL. Absolutely. But I also think it would be a good idea to have a small car for the summer. Sure. Because I feel like the summer is so slow anyways. The XL does help, but it's not worth the $15 or uh, 15 miles to the gallon that I get. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. So, or doing like Uber Eats with a gas guzzler. And <laughs> so. I won't do Uber Eats. Yeah, we won't uh, either. No. I mean, we, we dipped our feet in. Now, I actually do Grubhub in the summer. Is it different? It is different. Yeah. So this is the big difference, and this is why I do it. So when I get a ping for Grubhub, it tells me how much I'm going to make right off the bat, tip included. Okay. So what what it does is Grubhub asks for the tip before the customer checks out, where yeah. Uber, at, when you're done getting the food, you then can tip, but nobody ever does, right? Right. But Grubhub says, would you like to add gratuity? So basically, when I get one that pops up that's over $10, right. I will take it. If it's right. under 10 I say no. I mean, I can tell when somebody doesn't tip. Right. It'll be Denny's run for four bucks. I'm like, oh, this is nope. just like Uber Eats. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, what do you do when you bring the food and they're like, this is not what I ordered? And then they give you a bad rating and you don't have anything to do with the food. That's true. I'll be honest with you. I drop that food off and I run back to my car. <laughs> no, I don't run, but I make a point to right. to hustle yeah. and don't even just touch go. my phone. Right. And I just start the car and go because... I mean, they it's not my with problem. They with yeah. the restaurant. Right. I will check in the bag, I'll, like six items. I'll be like, yeah, it looks like around six items. I mean, if I got one sure. item and it was six, I would be like, say something to the restaurant. Yeah. But well, What about the winter time and the slush and the snow and you're yeah. finding a place to park? It just doesn't seem worth it. It's, it's not for Uber Eats. But like yeah. I said, if I... An airport run for an Uber X to downtown is right around $10. Yeah. So if I can make $10 on a run, sure. as long as it's not like... You kind of have to make a decision, though, because you're like, you see the address and you see the restaurant and you have like 30 seconds to think about how far away it is. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. you're like, is it worth it? Because sometimes I've done $10 ones and it's been, oh, my gosh, it's delivering from the Chinese place on, in uh, Cascade in 96 to Jenison. Oh, you know what I First mean? Walk. Yeah. Or it's China Garden. Oh, right okay. on oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Ada yeah. there, right yeah. on... Uh, Cascade and yeah. Ada Drive or Four right. Sales, right by Four Sales Foods. Gotcha. So, but yeah, I had relatively, I mean, I think 180 is good. What about you over the weekend, Ben? I pulled in about $100 Friday night and Saturday night. Really? And then I did Thursday night because I was expecting a surge for that country concert. That surge never really got very high either. So I took in about $40 that night. Okay. So 240 not horrible. Not great. No. But anything over 100. That Faith Hill one? That concert, Yeah, yep. I waited forever for that surge. Yeah, and it just never came. And it never came. And when it did come, I was in Jenison. <laughs> nah. Did it did get up there though? Yeah. For I mean like two times maybe. Oh, that's not a surge. No, it was, I mean it was Oh, what about uh B93's birthday bash? That was a flake too. Ah. I got pissed. I left. I, I was getting nothing above like yeah. a one five. I yeah. freaking left and drove to the airport. I yeah. was like spitting nickels. I was like, <laughs> this is supposed to be. And I don't know why. You just think the amount of drivers? Uh, probably. You think so? I, I think picked so. them up, but a couple hours afterwards, they all went to the close bars. Oh, like, like uh, the tallies. Yeah. I picked them up there and had one in Jenison from, from yeah. there. Yeah. There were some six time surges up in Rockford. Yeah, over yeah, summer uh start that. a summer celebration. Yep. yep. So I might hang out there for a while. I don't know. I what it was I a told time thing. It was because it was the start of summer yeah. that weekend. Um celebration. I was telling Ben, most of them are probably gonna be short because yeah, yep. they just didn't want to park downtown and right, they're like, ah, right. oh, four miles. Although a six time surge for four miles is probably yeah. twenty five bucks. Yeah. Thirty bucks. So that's not Do terrible. A couple of those. Right. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about that route change thing. Yeah, um, that was crazy. Tell us about what that was. I I think I got the gist of it. You emailed them initially because you... yep. Okay. So what happened was I picked up an XL ride in front of the tavern, and two strikes against them. Number one, they're drunk. So <laughs> I mean There's that just goes without with saying, but they're. Their, thi their thinking was clearly impaired. 
Number two, they were from out of town, so they yeah. had no idea where they needed to go. They just knew they were at the Days Inn Hotel on 28th Street. Well, there just happened to be two Days Inn on 28th Street. There's one out in Granville, and then there's a new one right off of 131 at Buchanan. Okay. So they needed to go to the one at Buchanan and 131. However, I was routing towards the one in Granville. So did they put that address in? They did. Okay. That, there's tons of hotels that yeah. that's happened for. There's like a Walker one, uh, like a Hampton and Walker. Baymont and, in. And, there's Baymont. Something in Walker and one yep, by the airport. Yep. So. So we're driving and then they're like, this doesn't look familiar. And I was like, well, we're going to the Days Inn, right? And they said, yeah, on 28th Street. I said, yeah, that's what I've got here. So she was like, Oh, the Granville ones on 28th Street, too? Yeah. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Which was just hilarious. One southwest, one southeast. Because, well, Division is the splitter, I thought. And Days In, or is it 131 that splits that? I think it might be one. I'm not sure where I'm pretty sure I thought it was Division, and that hotel is before Division. It is. But anyways. So I'm not sure how that all worked out. But they were like, no, I'm pretty sure we're going to the wrong spot. I was like, okay. Well, then let's change it and put in the next one. So by this point, we're on market about to get on 196, going the complete opposite direction of 131. All right. So I was like, okay. So instead of getting on 196 west, I got on 196 east and basically did a huge giant loop to get back to 131. Right. And then it took them south. So the ride ended up being like a cost of $60 to the rider. Okay. My take on that was a 40 something. They tipped, they were nice. I mean, nobody put up a fight about it. Right. But I was just thinking when they wake up in the morning and they realize how much they paid for this ride, they're going to fight it. So I figured I'll go ahead and send Uber an email, just informing them. This is what happened. There were destination changes, confusion on where they needed to go. Just letting you know. So they so, did not change it in the app. You didn't ask them to. Uh, I, they tried, but it didn't work. So yeah, it's so like, frustrating when you ask them to change it, and yeah. they're either too hammered, and they yep. ask you how to do it. I'm like, I've used Uber plenty of times. In fact, my d- passenger rating is way lower than my driver rating. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's a four point seven four. I'm like, oh, wow. who did I piss off? I Seriously. tip every single time. I should be getting five stars. But uh, I've never had to change the address. So they're like asking me. I'm like. I don't know. Yeah. You know, so. Yep. I just take their phone away and do it for oh, them. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, I asked them. Well, yeah, of yeah. course. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me that phone. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And so Uber writes back, and they the tone of the message was basically, why are you messaging us? Right. Like, uh, what do you want us to do about this? Yeah. Do you want us to refund the rider? And I just wrote back and said, no, I don't think a refund's necessary. Yeah, because you still want to get paid. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was just letting you know because they're probably going to write you about this ride. Yeah. So I'm glad I did that because first thing next morning, I check my earnings and I'm in the negative. Like they, because I did instant pay. Oh. And so I was in the negative because they refunded part of that ride. So I took a screenshot of the original message, sent it in an email to Uber and said, you told me that you weren't going to deduct my earnings for this. Right. Well, they gave me my earnings back. Like, I didn't have to fight beyond that. I just sent another message. And they responded quickly and said, yes, you're correct. You were giving you back this portion of your earnings. So it was a $29 loop. Basically, yeah, and you said that they refunded the rider anyways, they did. and got now the whole amount or just the amount from the, the twenty nine dollars. They took that off of the ride. So if I looked at the earnings, and it said that the rider paid sixty minus that twenty nine, okay. whatever. But they still paid me that. So Uber took a loss on that ride, right? Which is very unlike them. So yeah, because usually it seems like Uber's out to stick you whenever they can i wish it was someone actually looking at that email and said why is this driver emailing us who cares like usually (laughs) that's a uh usually it's not a proactive thing it's a reactive thing like hey why are you taking these earnings away from me yeah well that's interesting yeah i mean the number one thing is try to get that 
address change. And I, I mean, I probably did over the weekend where they didn't do it. They're like, oh, they put in Hopcat, and they're like, oh, what's a good bar to go to? And hmm. and they're like, oh, did we want to go to the Bob? I'm like, these are guys that are like 35 and <laughs> kind of um, rednecky. You know what I mean? I'm like, you don't want to go to the Bob yeah. for drinks. Like that is not a place. Like I would never Back go. Back forty. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I actually. Uh, oh, that's kind of did. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. yeah. Founders. Nah, really? nah, I mean, I think these guys really? just wanted to drink Budweiser. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, so okay. I said, Twisted uh, Bull. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I think I said uh, Broadway Bar. And then we go there and there's a line. I said, okay, we're going to the Blue, Blue Dog Tavern, which yeah. I'm sure that was perfect for them. Oh, but, yeah. Um, and, but, but what I did is I didn't change it. I didn't have them change it. They weren't from here and I probably should have. But yeah. again, it was just. You know, I knew where the those bars were, so I just sure. drove to them. So, yeah. Although you kind of got to get the feeling, though, you wonder if they're going to actually say anything. And these were guys who were cool. They're like, "Yeah, just take us wherever." Yeah. But you just never know. I mean, you wake up and you're negative in your account. Yeah. So you're like, it's what like, the what heck? What happened? So, um, and the other thing that kind of went on over the weekend is the ticketing is yeah. getting ramped up. They are. It's crazy. So I didn't look at my videos, but I got one guy getting a ticket on my dash cam. I think Ben got one. I yep. think uh, our other buddy, oh. Jesper, got a couple, too. So I watched him. I was right there. I parked in the hotel. Right. And I just watched him. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't understand it. Like, well, you got to remember, though, well, there's, what, six, 700 people in that Facebook group. How many drivers aren't in that group? Yeah. Um, right. You know, exactly. so they may not, I mean, they might not see, hey, you know, you, you should probably not do this. And one thing that happened to me that night at the hotel is security came up to me because I have my little Uber. I have a Uber light in a, um, in a Lyft one. Like I got off eBay. Yeah. So it just kind of lights up. And it's, I think he saw that. Right. He's like, hey, how long are you going to be here? I said, five minutes or less. And I said, if they don't show up, I'm canceling and, moving on and he's like okay because last night a couple of rideshare drivers just parked their cars here and left what i'm what? like that's he's bizarre not, yeah nobody did that that doesn't make sense no, i'm like no. maybe yeah. some people did that i mean why would rideshare yeah. drivers leave their car unless they decided hey i'm gonna go drink or yeah. <laughs> or whatever but... i'm just gonna leave my car right he was super cool though and i was really I worried <laughs> i kind of like gave him a little bit of a toot like i kind of I didn't lie to him, but I was like, yeah, I'm right to driving. And what did he say? Like, are they coming right now? And I'm like, yeah, they should be here. I just was like, oh, crap, we're going to get kicked out. Because I had just said to these guys on an uh, app we use called Telegram, I was like, at some point, the hotel is going to kick us out. Yeah. I mean, as people start not parking in front of the Bob, the hotel is going to kick us out. I just go to the other side, too, by 20 Monroe Live. Yes, that is another there is place. A play, uh, there is a little area. loading zone. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And as soon as that construction is done, too, that'll be much Perfect. nicer over there. Yeah. Um, but have you asked now, ha have you picked people up from the Bob and told them that you're over by 20 Monroe? Uh, well, I call them first. Okay. When I see the Bob, first yeah. thing I do is call. Yeah. And I kind of observe if they've been drinking or if they're really drunk. <laughs> yeah. If I feel they're really drunk, yep. the, then I'll tell them to go. Um, by the twenty, the, the less busy street, rather than cross the road and right. and, and have them, you know, potentially get hit by a car. So uh, I evaluate the situation the best I can. Yeah, uh, and then have them come to me. Yeah, I feel like though, um, if they're super drunk, I know you don't want them cross the street, but it's much easier for you for them to come across the street and try to explain because some people don't even know what Twenty Monroe is. Yeah. You yeah, know? I mean, a lot of the concert sure. people do, but if you get some 21 year old dancing their butt off in there, like they, they're probably not going to concerts at all. I mean, maybe, maybe not. Well, you but. could also tell them go around like you're going to go to um, the Van Andel, but stay on the stay on that okay. sidewalk and then I'll be right there. And if I can show you, if, well, you can't. Hey, guys, thanks for listening to the show. We would really love if you could review us on iTunes. It would really help us boost our rankings in the search area. The things that we need you to do is we need you to subscribe. We need you to leave a star review and a text review. If you do all three of those things, that would be awesome, and it would really help us out. Thanks.
see it. I have this thing. Is my purse here? Mm -hmm. um, the dog that I got. It is so cool. Um, can you hand me my purse? Yeah. Sorry. Come on, Ben. <laughs> Thank oh, it looks Be good gentleman. on you, Ben. Yeah, it's your color. color <laughs> okay, so this is really cool. This I have this, and you go. It's a light. Okay. And then it'll um have a big flash. Or like this, oh. and it's a magnet, and it sticks up on your car. Okay. So if you're in a crowded area, like a concert, you say, I'm the blink one with the blinking light. Very smart. Yeah, and they come right to you, and uh, that's it's pretty great. cool. That's so, great. So that's what I do. Yeah, yeah, I know Lyft has got their amps out now, and yeah. they Thanks. finally are shipping them to GR. Although, Only yeah. if you have a certain number of rides. So, yeah, you have to do... 250 lift rides in 90 days, something like that, which doesn't seem like a lot. But yeah. for us, I mean, I'm mostly doing, I mean, I'm doing both, but I'm only working on the weekends. So sure. it used to be if you did 250 rides, they send it to you. Like, right. doesn't matter the time frame. But what is it, it now? What? It's called a lift amp. Ben's probably going to Google it. Um, no, nope. I'm just starting my fact check list. Ah, good idea. We do a little after podcasts where we all talk out of our butts and then we fact check if it's really real or not. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's usually just like 10 minutes of us just <laughs> ranting. But um, yeah, it's a little light uh, that lights up and it matches the color changes to the um, the passenger says it sees it's yellow and the light will change to yellow. Oh, nice. So Uber launched something like that called the Beacon like, gosh, a year and a half ago, but it, they've never... I think they're just starting to come around, like around some of the right. the markets. But it was supposed to be the same thing. It was this bar, kind of like you had that ran the, the length of your windshield, like okay. up and down, real skinny. Sure, same thing. It mat the light matches yeah. with. But that's a great idea. I yeah, mean, until that stuff comes to fruition. Yeah, um, that's it's really super worked. Super great. I've I've used it a couple times, and they were. Very happy, especially at yeah. like concert pickups. Yeah, and stuff. like at uh, I don't know what what is that place on uh, Ann Street or by Ann? Oh, the Delta Plus. Oh, I hate yeah. that place. That's an S show. Oh, it yeah. is. It is. It really is. Because the only way you really can pick them up is in that turnaround. Mm -hmm. And then if you get an a hole security guy, they won't let you through. They no. it won't let you through, or they say you got to keep moving. I'm yeah. like, well, what are we supposed to do? Just circle. Like, yeah, I mean, it's a little yeah. circle. Yeah. Tip for that is there is a street that runs behind the Delta Plex that would say, well, east-west, right? Mm -hmm. I think where I'm at. Tell them to go there. And your light would be perfect for that because it's kind of on a hill, so they do have to climb up a little bit of a hill. But, I mean, it's not terrible. It's like 100 yards. I just say, I'm picking up my little girl. Oh. <laughs> At the Marilyn Manson concert, yeah, Sam. yeah. They, well, they don't know. Like, right. Okay, um, but yeah, I don't remember the street name. But um, is it Hillside? Who could be? I think so. Sounds familiar. Yeah. That's what the lift amp looks like. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, I see it's green there. And, oh um, yeah, okay. It'll do. Um, it'll put messages on the back of it for your riders too. Cool. You can like, I, yeah. Really? Yeah, it scrolls messages, and I think you can put whatever you want in there. Wow. So yeah. Um, Jesper has one. He doesn't use it, but um, I should borrow that from him. Lyft yeah. isn't as popular, is it, in Grand Rapids? It's not. It doesn't yeah. seem to be, no. I mean, for goodness sakes, I'll be out the airport, and I'll get a Lyft request at Al in Allendale. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, I've it. heard Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. it's I'm not going to take them. I don't take anything uh, more than eight minutes away. Do you get penalized for um, not taking the ride? So the same policy for Uber for acceptance rating where they will not, um, you will not get to be activated for acceptance rating. Do you know that? You're looking at me like you don't might not know that. Uh, no, I'm just thinking acceptance and cancellation. Yeah, my cancellation was 27 percent last week. <laughs> yeah, mine was 25. So oh, good. Okay. It You're not okay. Yeah, yeah, it happens. And especially when I run. Um, both apps. Yep. Sometimes I get one that's way better on the other one, like. I don't always shut the other one off right away. Yeah. I'm like, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll flirt with it a little bit as we're driving yeah. to the Uber one. And right. then all of a sudden, a Lyft Plus comes up that's 400%. I'm going to cancel the Uber and take the Lyft. Right. And so, but you can't do too many of those. I mean, you're right. But I was once deactivated for too many cancellations. For Uber, how long? On Uber. For how long? 
Uh, not long. I mean, I just went to the Greenlight Hub and they oh, okay. put it right back online. Because I thought for sure I was a goner. Yeah. This is like two years ago. Can you pull your mic up a little bit more? You don't have to lean forward. Just pull your mic up a little more. Still stay comfortable. Thank you. Yes, Jason. Well, I'm just looking at the the. I've got you bumped up so high, but then you scream and then it goes really high. Ah, yeah, like that. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, that was the thing two years what ago. What was your cancel? Oh, for for acceptance, you said no. It was oh, cancellation. cancellation. No, yeah. I'm sure it's still. I a got thing. deactivated. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yep, I knew everything about you. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is back in the day when Tiger was. Working at the Green Light Hub. I don't know anyone that's worked there. I've oh, been man. there one time. It was it was odd because Tiger was also in the rideshare drivers group, and he worked Ooh, at the Green Light Hub. That's weird. So, yeah, once and, you kn- and he and you knew that he like he didn't have a problem hiding it. Well, nobody in the group knew that he was working at the hub until mm. I informed them. I was like. Pretty sure Tiger just helped me at the Greenlight Hub. Okay. I'm not sure I like that he's in this group. That was back in the Uber Michigan group. I was going to say, because I've never heard that name. That name would stand out to me. If Tiger. Tiger. Tiger Wynn. Tiger Wynn. Yeah. He Tiger was, Blood. Like Tiger yeah. Woods. So. Huh. All right. Well, don't park in front of the Bob like a dumbass. Yes. That's basically yeah, the won't. gist of it. And It's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth the ticket. Um, gosh, there were so many cops there. For this it was crazy. Yeah, and, and crazy I couldn't believe four. there were still people there. Even when the cops were there, I'm like, what is wrong with you? Well, they probably figure they're there for like a fight or something like that. You know, they're probably not there to give tickets out. They just uh, like, oh, I got to pick up my passenger. I mean, it's been on the news. Yeah. yeah it's I not know. just Facebook. That was my fault. Sorry. It's always your Real fault. nice, Ben. <laughs> All right, we'll transition to uh, Amy here. So we're going to ask you some questions. And hey. I, I'm sure a lot of people want to get perspective of a female driver. Sure. And we've had CC in, but it's always good to uh, get another female in here to kind of see sure. how you do things. And I won't ask you all this. I will, I'll ask you, do you like Uber or Lyft better? But I know the answer. She doesn't drive for Lyft. I already hit her up. So oh. stop. <laughs> uh, shucks. No promo code for me. <laughs> well, she said, you, so Tim wants you to sign up with his, but you yeah. don't want to? Oh, I used no, the name. no. That was, that was trouble. No, no, no. I just uh, I just don't know if I, I want to get that involved. Well, if you just. It's a lot to balance. It is a lot to balance. In I, fact, I just like to go out and drive, really. Right. You In know? fact, I run a tablet for Lyft and a, and I use Uber yeah. with my phone. So just uh, I can do it on both, but I mean I'm messaging on my phone, so I try to keep it as. I as could do that too. I mean, I, yeah. it's not a big deal. It's just uh, I, I don't want to. Well, for the five, just do it for the five hundred dollar. Maybe I will, and then just then don't do it anymore if you don't want. To. Yeah, that's I mean, a good idea. And if you're using yeah. it, using it. Um, if you're driving full time, for whatever reason, if Uber says, yeah, you're deactivated. Right. You're SOL, right? right? But if you have Lyft, at least you have something to fall back on. Right, right. So sure. I would think about it. Sure. Um, so what kind of vehicle do you use for ride you're driving? Uh, 2009 Kia okay. Sorento, but I always forget. They call it a cilantro. A cilantro. Because I, I, I forget. Yeah, it's a, it's isn't a, that a mint or a dress? Or a, it's a, like a taco seasoning or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that once. What are you driving? A Kia cilantro. And they're like, what? what? Awesome. And if yeah. they were drunk, they would not even notice the difference. They're like, they're like, yeah, all cool. they heard was Kia and their brain That's right. Off. That's right. Um, what have some negative experiences you've had with right you're driving? Um, I've driven a lot for me, I feel, you know, almost 2000 rides and I had, uh, one really bad thing happen. I don't know if that's, if you want a story, but I can give you you a story. Stories are great. I think you posted about it on the group, maybe. I don't know. (laughs) I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. So this creepy guy, I picked him up. Of course it's a creepy guy. He's a creepy guy. And I, and uh, he was drinking, but he wasn't, you know, yeah. just, you know, he wasn't Having like that. Time. Right. He says, he gets in the car and he looks at him and he goes, I had a mental breakdown today. And I'm like, oh, great. 
This is how it's going to end where, for me. Yeah, where are we going? How long am I in this? Yeah, for? this is how it's ending. <laughs> this is what's going to happen. So I started fidgeting a little bit. He goes, are you okay? Are you feeling okay? And I said, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Why? He says, uh, he says I'm a very bad man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, oh, why do you say that? You know, thinking he's going to tell me he killed someone. Right. And he says, I'm just a bad man. My wife left me and my kids hate me. And I said, oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. And, and, uh, but you'll be okay. And, and yeah, inside, kinda... yeah, I'm thinking, oh my gosh. So, um, he says, I want to stop and get some c- cigarettes at Meyer gas station. And I said, okay. Great, perfect. I'm going to escape. And <laughs> as he was getting out, he touched my face because you're so pretty, oh, no. like in his creepy old man oh. voice. You're so pretty. <laughs> oh. And I just said <laughs> thanks. Oh, I took off like a bat out of he- yeah. H-E-Double oh, hot. Oh my gosh! No, kidding. It was so scary. Ooh. And I called Uber, um, to to tell them what I did because I. I've never done that before, right. but I felt that it was important. My life was in danger, and it wasn't worth it to me. No, Seriously. he rated me a one star. I'm like, what? Well, yeah, you knew that was going to happen. Oh, yeah. to I, I mean, no. that's, as soon as you make those decisions, you're like, well, there goes my rating. Yep. Well, oh, I, I think they changed it back. Okay, I was gonna say because I talked to you know how you, uh, how do I say this in it? So when you call support. Mm-hmm. You go to like probably a India. different country or yeah. whatever, yeah. which is cool. That's fine, whatever. Yeah. They've always been nice. Not like they would. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I sound like my mother. I'm sorry, people. Okay, so then, um, um, a lady called me back from the United States. States yeah, right away and said, "Are you okay?" We're so sorry this happened right. to you. What can we do? You know, our, our you $100 know, dollar bonus. Yeah, no, right. and I was like, you know what? I'm fine, and everything's okay. I just really appreciated that they took the time yeah. to have somebody actually call in. You know, and who legitimately seemed concerned about yeah. my well well being. That was really cool. Um, but right after that, I just kept driving because I knew if I didn't, I would probably never drive again. Yeah. It really creeped me out. That oh, is creepy. Sure. Yeah, it was Man. bad. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And especially, I mean, this is not sexist, but being a woman, I mean, there's there's a little extra risk. I mean, guys are creepy. They, they I mean, are. You know, and, and I try to. Especially Jason. I just said especially. <laughs> <laughs> I try if I feel like I'm in a in a vulnerable, vulnerable position, I try to you know, puff out my chest a little bit and yeah. be very confident yes. and not rude, but assertive. Mm-hmm. And um, just, but, but inside I'm like, Oh my God, don't hurt me. Don't right. hurt. But you know, you, you don't want them to know that because then, you know, they will, will take advantage of that. I do tell that to new female drivers. Yeah. I say, you just need to own your car. This is yes. your car. You don't have to be a, a bitch about it. Yes. But be like, greet them first. Cause mm-hmm. when you greet somebody first, you're, you're establishing, the not the dominance but you're saying hi how are right. you blah 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 you know right. instead of letting them do it and it seems weird but no they, I, science behind that oh, yeah. i do i'll wave i'll yeah. go hi like i'm their long lost aunt yeah. hi and they look at me and they do that and then they look at your friends like oh i'm waving it's so weird. true <laughs> it's yeah funny. i was at Vito's yeah. pizza the a couple of weeks ago yeah and i was there with Jesper, we were just grabbing a bite to eat. Right. All of a sudden, Amy pulls up and just starts waving, and she's like, "Hi, are you Ben?" <laughs> I did. <do> that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking around and I'm not seeing anybody like, else. There, am I'm I like, in hidden camera? Like, actually, y- y- yeah. <laughs> I was like, but I'm a driver. They're like, no, I'm a driver. <laughs> That's so funny. It was so hilarious. So you're totally right. Amy is like super friendly and waving and greeting and assertive. <laughs> and so well done. Yeah, it's, it, it definitely works. I mean, they love it. It, it. it establishes the whole ride. It does. And I think that's one of the reasons why my rating is high and I, I hate agree. to be sound like that, but no. you know, you set the, the precedence and you ask them questions. People love to talk about themselves. And yes. if you don't like people don't drive. Yep. Right. Period. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know? Unless you want to drive in the morning 
on the weekends when everyone's hungover and just doesn't want to talk. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Or or on their way to work or right. whatever, don't want to talk. I would I mean I'm a morning person, so it doesn't bother me, but I'm sure there's people that are morning people that if they got in an Uber and someone started talking to them be like, Bro, yeah, going to work. They would can br- you just leave me alone? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Know? Well yeah, that is kind of weird. I don't think I've ever been touched on the side of well i've had people touch my beard but they usually oh. ask permission first, so. <laughs> it's like petting your dog can i pet your dog can i touch your face i've had people do that the, that couple from uh that delta or uh, the country uh b93 they oh, the they white. were like oh my gosh we got married in vegas i'm like me too and they're like we have to show you our dog right when i drop them off and I'm like, like why not is this? a picture like the real dog? Yeah, I'm like, why is this happening? I'm like, okay, just stay there. And I'm staying in their driveway. And they bring this bulldog out, put it in my passenger. Oh my seat, word! In their little puppy. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> this brings this trigger my memory. What's the weirdest or coolest thing you've gotten from a passenger? Because I got a story about that. I know we're getting off topic here a little oh, no. bit, but it just I jumped. use it almost every day. I have a Bose Bluetooth speaker that somebody left in my car and never claimed it. But they didn't give it to you. I well, mean, no. in a long, you know, in a way they did. Yeah, I mean, those are yeah. like a couple hundred bucks. No, and they never wanted it. And back. you reached out, or I did I? Yeah, I knew what trip it was and everything. They never responded. They so stole it. I still have it if they ever want it back. So oh. if you're out there listening. That's that's really fifty dollar. <laughs> yeah, $50. yeah, right. can have a bag. <laughs> Storage fee. Other than that, oh my gosh, did I tell the popsicle story? No, mm, that was probably the weirdest thing anybody has ever given me. That is weird because popsicles. for what we do, st- <laughs> frozen, frozen, like a box. No, like one because <laughs> she grabbed one for herself on the way out, and she was she said. I just didn't feel right with just taking one for me and not bringing you one. Aww. Oh, so you picked her up from her home. And yes. Did you eat it? Did you say, yes. ew, it's orange. I want the blue well, one. The red, white, and blue pops. Those oh, are my those favorite. are so good. Oh, my gosh. So, Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, so it's a ride from Ada, and she's going all the way to the northwest side of town. So she initially offered me the popsicle, and I just said, mm, no, thanks. I'm good. And she said, oh, well, it's the red, white, and blue ones. And I was like, mm, no, I, it's okay. I don't need any. And she's like, okay, but what am I going to do with this extra popsicle? Good for her. And I'm thinking, seriously, just, I don't care. Throw it out the window. Yeah. And then she asks again, are you sure you don't want I think she was this? trying to hit on you. I, it was weird. Well, I mean, come on. Who asked that many times if you I want know. a popsicle? So I finally I said, fine. So she hands it up, and she's like, they are so good. And this is also the girl that called me when I pulled up to her house to tell me that she was brushing her teeth and that she would be right out. Te- Who brushes their teeth and then eats a popsicle? Yeah. It's, oh, it's a gross. little weird. So, that mint flavor with the – that's seriously. like – that's like un American. You eat like a star spangled yeah. banner popsicle after you brush your teeth. I know. It tastes terrible. <laughs> so that was by far the weirdest thing. Maybe she did a water brush. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Can you call her and ask? <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Were you cresting it or was it water? <laughs> what about you? What about me? Yeah, what about you? Strangest ge- oh, boy. I don't even know That's okay. if it's allowed. And no, it's not, but okay, so this is what happened. I picked up this guy from Anaza Sands. I'll make it quick. Anaza Sands. He, well, I don't know what they call it yeah. anymore. That's what we called it yeah, back in the day. I don't think it's called that anymore, but I remember that back in the yeah. day. I mean, I grew up here my whole, I'm 42, so I grew up here my whole okay. life, but I, I remember those days. Yeah. I played pool there. Yeah. yeah. So I did, and, and I dropped him off, and then I got another ping, and it was him again. I'm like, I just dropped you off. Where do you want to go? He says, I forgot my laptop in my truck. So he had to go get, I had to go to Dave and Buster's or whatever, get it. And he looked at me. He was a kid too, maybe 28 or whatever. He says, I will, if you shut your app off right now and you take me to the casino, I'll give you $100 to play and $300 if you stay. What? And I said, (laughs) 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yep. And it was late. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. So I went, and I'm not a gambler really. None. So I only gambled twenty of it, and I stayed at the table with him for a while. Okay. He was really cool, very respectful. You know, it was just like two buddies going to the casino. Or yeah. Whatever. And then I got tired, and I'm in the like high stakes room, and I'm like trying to. I fall asleep. He's like, "You can go home now." He goes, "My friend is going to pick me up later," <laughs> and he gave me the money. He still gave you the three hundred. He no gave way. me the money, wow. and that was it. Yeah, <laughs> it was weird, and it was wow. just before Christmas, so it, I was so thankful for that. But yeah, yeah. dang, yeah. that's crazy. It was good. It was a good night. I, I had similar with that. I took a guy to the casino, and we were negotiating on the way down how much he was going to pay for me, and I didn't have to go inside. Yeah, I just had to sit in my car. Yeah, and ended up not working out, and I drove back. But he was like 150 bucks for like two hours. That's I'm amazing. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'll stay. But then he was like, got cheap on me, or his buddy's what? like, no, that's too much. So they were like arguing back and forth. I'm like, this is not going to end well. So it, yeah. I ended up dropping them off, and I'm like, peace. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you guys aren't going to pay me that, I'm not going to stay around. Right. No kidding. Um, so the strangest thing I got, I had a rider. I took him over, I don't know, somewhere by the, the zoo, and we're talking about bands. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I love Rage Against the Machine, Nirvana, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, and we started talking about records a little bit. And he gave me a he, – he, we. I drop him off. He's like, I got something for you. I got something for you. He gave me like a Nirvana 45. Wow. Like, wow. Yeah, I know, right? That's I'm like, so cool. I don't have a record player. I think it's up in my closet, but um, I'm like, I don't, I still don't have a record player, but I thought yeah. it's super weird, right? Like, yeah. I mean, I don't even know. It's probably not worth anything, but he was just so happy because I like Nirvana. Like, he really wanted to give it to me. I mean, super drunk, like, super drunk. Yeah. But it's always weird. Like, I'm going to go in my house and come back out with something. You're like, do uh, I take off? Uh, like, <laughs> I gotta right. know. Right. I gotta yeah. know. Right? Like, do I take? Nah, I'm staying. It's have fine. you ever been inside a passenger's house? I have not. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Have you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. For what? Oh, oh trying to get them in because they were drunk. No, I. I don't really know why. This is back in my early days of driving. This is probably three years ago now. Okay. But I drove a guy to Cannonsburg, and he had a real nice house, and um, he was in sales, so we were just talking business. Right. And he's like, hey, you want to get out of the car for a minute? Maybe grab a drink? And I was like, sure. Ben was getting hit on again. (laughs) (laughs) No. Come here, boy. Yeah. Come here. (laughs) So... I went inside and he wanted to, I think part of the reason I went inside is because he wanted me to look at his printers. I sell office equipment. Printers. Yeah. yeah printers, uh-huh. code word for yeah. his butt. <laughs> so nothing strange happened. I mean, I had a Diet Coke. He showed me his printer. I bet, I bet he did. You naughty little boy. <laughs> like what, 15 minutes? <laughs> yeah, it was about that. Yeah. <laughs> And was so- it a was it a nice printer? <laughs> it was <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was uh, uh, it left a lot to be desired. Uh, <laughs> it was probably a cannon, some homeowner crap. A cannon, <laughs> yeah. It was uh, inkjet. It was a little dried up, so. <laughs> <laughs> So he was older. <laughs> oh my gosh, you too. Now he's ru- now Ben's running with it. First he was like, no, uh, I'm not going to say anything. So yeah, I don't, to this day, I still don't know why I went inside. Like, I'm playing scenes in my head of things that could have happened. Like, that was really dumb. Well, being, yeah, it was dumb because, <laughs> I mean, you just don't know anything about, oh yeah, I thought it was my printer. Or my printer. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, boy. My TV. <laughs> or he said. <laughs> All right. Let's get back on topic. Oh, God. Here's... Wow. Um, we're so far off track. I know. And we are we are so far off track. And, like, time-wise, we're, like, 45 minutes in. And we haven't even got to these questions or got into our ride share stuff. Um, issues that you see being a female driver. I mean, we kind of touched on it a little bit. But, like, um, just being afraid or... Um... um I think one of the biggest things is when uh, a man is drunk and they're by themselves 
and they're really drunk, you know, they can really get out of control. Right. Um, I think an important thing to do is not to instigate anything. Kind of agree Just with them. Agree with them. Go with the flow. Right. Hey, oh yeah. And when it starts getting weird, because drunk guys talk real weird. <laughs> Especially when it's I would guess it's just one guy and you. Just one guy, yeah. If it's two, you got that his buddy there yes. and he's like, I'm not gonna be a weirdo. <laughs> yes. Uh but but that is and then there was also this is really important, and I'm glad I remembered. I drove two guys home uh from it's on Bridge Street, forgot the name. Anyway, and they were, I could just, I had the weirdest feeling. Um, and I drove them and then they canceled right in the middle and Ugh. they kept asking me these really weird questions. Oh boy. Mm. And that's creepy. It was really creepy. Yeah. Almost to the fact where I thought, I know that, okay, I know this is going to sound weird. But I could not ever get the thought out of my head that these people were like human traffickers. Mm. Yeah. They, one was a little four. Oh, yeah. Well, they just didn't fit into the, the you know, scene. the Grand Rapids mold of, and especially where they were and everything right. like that. Um, just different. They look like they were, you know, out of towners. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but I always wanted, I never remembered where. I know it was Leonard, but that's really scary. And I think about that now, too. I mean, I look like a mom, but like these younger drivers, you know, these girls, that's something that they're really going to have to watch. Yeah. Is, you know. Yeah. Would And would you recommend other female drivers doing it? Like if someone came up to you, let's say that, that you felt that they couldn't command their car, would you say? I mean, would if you... they can't, if they're um, submissive. Which is okay. Everybody yeah. has their own different personalities. Um, then don't do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, because there are, you know, not so nice people out there. We don't really see it a lot in Grand Rapids. Right. It um, is a pretty safe community. Yeah. I mean, you've it is. done, what, close to 3,000 rides. I've done probably 2,000. Right. I mean, and we've not had too many incidents. That, right. I mean, never had to, well, Ben has had called the cops a couple of times, but yeah, but you guys are also guys too. Yeah, that's a big difference. And, and for when, when like a twenty-year-old girl asks me from Allendale about it, um, I tell them if if they can't control their car, right. they don't feel confident. If they don't have that little spunk, don't do it. Right. Um, because I don't want to be responsible. Right. You know. Right. Do you think uh, female drivers receive more tips? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, mean, look, I know that's kind of a, a hypothetical yeah. question because you don't really know. You don't have any stats on it. but Right. Um, you know, I make between not the last couple of weeks, but, you know, average 60 to $70 a week in tips. Okay. And I think that's pretty average yeah. for everybody. I feel maybe. like when I used to wait tables, I felt like the females did better. Yeah. I don't know why. I mean, yeah. it's, just, it's just one of those things. I would try to be super nice. Sure. But yeah, I kind of feel like female drivers get yeah. more tips, but maybe they uh, probably do, especially with the creepy old guys. But <laughs> yeah, he didn't tip me that night. <laughs> uh, a last question is: There is a woman-only rideshare company in Canada. Uh, was that would that be something you'd be interested in? Basically, you're only picking up female passengers. I actually um, thought about that in my head when yeah. I first started Ubering. And I Googled it and, of course, found that there was one in California okay. that just went bankrupt. Mm. So they didn't really get their start, Yeah. Um, and, which really bothered me. So I thought, well, I wonder what it would take to have it just in Grand Rapids. Yeah. Because every time I pick up a female, I'm so glad you're a female. Right. I'm so glad you're a female. Thank you. know, Because it's, you know, hard to get. And I've never Ubered in my whole life. See, I, I have every driver Ubered. should be a passenger. I just, don't think I want to. But you should do <laughs> it anyway, do it. just so you can yeah. get the feeling. And, yeah, you're you know. right. You're absolutely and right. And lots of times I don't tell them that I'm a driver just to see what yeah. they say, just yeah. for fun. Mm -hmm. But if they are all, if they seem to be honest, then I'll let in that I am. But yeah. if they're giving me a line of BS, and that's me, me yeah. being in Tennessee or Chicago or, or, sure. or wherever I'm traveling, yeah. I do the same thing. But um, yeah, you should take it as... 
you know, either go out or yeah. run some errands with it. I mean, yeah. it's super cheap. But. I, I had a driver actually come in and somebody cut, went cut in front of us and I accidentally gave him the mom arm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. oh, the, oh yeah, my god! Yeah, like, I'm like, sorry. Hey, at least you know I care about right. you. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. It, just on that female um, yeah. only or woman only ride trip company, it's called Drive Her. But I think I would do it. I think Uber's missing the boat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like why don't they just say you can choose a female driver, yeah. or are they worried about the times? Because like, what if the the, the closest female driver is 20 minutes away? I doubt it on a bark yeah. night. I doubt that. But yeah, um, I think they should have the opportunity that's a good point if you want to wait yeah this is right person a is a female or you can get a regular driver or a guy and he can be there in two minutes that's a good idea they don't have to make it hard no that's actually i don't know why they haven't jumped on board i I don't either even even if it costs a little bit more i mean they could do whatever they want i think a lot of drivers would like that Mm -hmm. i think a lot of passengers would like that absolutely yeah i mean now with uber's self-driving car kind of the kibosh is been put on that right they're trying to push this bike sharing stuff now have you seen that yeah it's like why would you do that when you could have a really good idea like a female only option right like call it uber she or something yeah like why would you invest your Schuber. money in Schuber. 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 <laughs> why would you invest your money in a in bike bikes. share like is it bikes or scooters i thought it was electric scooters or is I don't it know. legitimate pedal bikes? I thought it was pedal bikes. It's the dumbest thing ever. It like, totally is. Who's going to ride a pedal Fact bike? Fact check that. Yeah, please. <laughs> who's going to ride? Who's going to do a pedal bike unless you're in a college town? Cilantro. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll get into ride share in the news. Thank you for those answers, it's Amy. It's an herb. Yes, no problem. I don't know if it's an herb. It is. It's an herb. Bad. You didn't see that, did you? No, I didn't see anything. <laughs> I forgot the yes on scooter. <laughs> Scooter. <laughs> Took me two seconds to take the S off, apparently. Um, what would right. you? Can I ask you a question really quick? Yeah, absolutely. What would you feel? Do you think men would be upset if there were um, that for women? You know, if if there was a ride shared just for, for women? women for with Uber, like Uber. No, I yeah. mean it. It does take away some of your money, though. I you know I never yeah. thought about. I wouldn't be upset for. Um, like sexist yeah. or anything i don't really give a crap i think it's yeah. great to protect the females is important to me but it, it would suck to lose that income yeah um it's a good point That's i almost feel what... uber is doing that already because i get i get a lot of women do you yeah hmm. yeah that's interesting i wonder if they do have in their now i can't say this word so you can mock me algorithm algorithm i said it right um that they know, like they, they can. It's so quick that they can be like, "Oh, it's a female driver. Let's try to pair her with." Yeah. Instead of just being the closest driver every single time. But, yeah, I don't know if they can do that. Just maybe it's you know. Yeah. Just how it is. Well, there's rumors going around, and they have for years that they pair people with um, higher rated drivers. Some will get like uh, newer passengers, um, just because. I see a lot of fives, yeah, yeah, which means new. Yeah. I always hate when I see a five, especially at the airport. I know. (sighs) They requested requested (laughs) right off the tarmac. (laughs) I'm going to be, I'm going to be super pissed at five minutes in and I text them and they're like, oh, we're still getting our bags. (laughs) (laughs) Don't request until you have your bags. Right. Yeah. I would usually lecture them. So do you want to go to those links now? I don't have a ton of videos, but the ride chair in the news, you can bring that um, yeah. back up there. So when you click on it, a link should pop up in the bottom. There you go. So we should do a couple things about ride share in the news and then current events and stuff like that. But basically, this is um, about there's no video, so it's just an article. Okay. Basically, two doctor drive uh, Uber. I hate that. No, thank you. Uber basically is going to detect. If you're too drunk to request an Uber, I don't know if you read this article, but basically they're going to figure out how you're texting and how you request, which is weird though. When you request a ride, it's like two clicks. It, but if you took a ride yeah. as a passenger, you would know. Right. I got something way under my knees. Oh, it's spit. Um, and, uh, so yeah, you uh, they're going to do the 
I read the article on the Facebook page. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I yeah. feel like, and what I wrote on my little thing, will Apple allow this much invasion on their platform? Because yeah. Android's like, whatever. But a- Apple locks I don't that. think they're going to stand for it. I don't think they will either. Like, keystrokes and everything, like, Apple can do that. We're okay with that. But having Uber be able to do that. And it said, match riders with drivers who have relevant training or are they actually going to deny that request? They're actually going to turn down money? No right. way. No. I, yeah. no way. I no. think they should have the the passenger have five little smiley face emojis and say, so rate what you are right now. Or, yeah, on a scale <laughs> of know? 1 to 10, how, what kind of night you're having or yeah. something. Yeah, something like that. So they give the information. Yeah, you know? that's true. I mean, that's super creepy. It's creepy. Um, so I guess it's just it's in the patent stage now. So they've right. submitted for a patent, but it's not released yet. From typos, okay. How are you going to get typos if you're not messaging your driver, the passenger, or are they get, or can they see other apps? That's the creepy yeah. part. Yeah. How uh-huh. are they going to know typos if you're what are they? You see, they see you texting your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife. Seriously, that's super weird. Yeah, the permissions are going to change on that app. Yeah. Huh. And well, what if take it a step farther? If they're that drunk, do they get permission to rate? If the, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's That's so really many good. variables. Yeah. Um, I don't want some crazy drunk person rating me. That's why I feel like someone needs to start another company. And now I know there as there's one out called Juno. That's in mm-hmm. New York. I know it's slowly growing. Yeah. And there was that Arcade City, which was a debacle because <laughs> that that CEO was a complete psycho. Oh, yeah. I don't even know why we call him a CEO. But <laughs> I feel like we've figured out so many things. And, of course, all that costs money. I understand that. And, and I'm sure there's a lot of ideas. But, man, you know, Uber hasn't taken any of those. They just try the bike thing. The Uber yeah. airplane or whatever they're doing. Uber ice cream. Uh, what? That was a thing a couple of years ago. Uber ice cream? Yeah. So they partnered with Love's Ice Cream for a one-day promotion. Okay. Where you could request like Uber X, Uber XL, and Uber ice cream. That's actually a good idea. And a driver would bring you ice cream. I was going to be one of those drivers, but I had to work that day. That's a good idea. In fact, there's times where I really want a pint of Ben and Jerry's, but I'm so lazy <laughs> yeah. that I do not want to go a mile down the yeah. road to Meyer to pick yeah. up a pint. And they I would pay did for it. Uber Poonchki. Yeah, I do they've done that for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Um but that's I don't know. They're not that good. They're not. <laughs> I do it for so. a pierogi. A pierogi. Oh, yeah. Uber pierogies. <laughs> All right, what's next up? Oh, Ben would do it for a printer, <laughs> an old printer, an old- <laughs> dry it out. <laughs> All right, this is a YouTube video. Oh, you know what? Hold on, before you hit that, I, my my speaker turns off automatically. There you go. Let's try it. This was hysterical. It was very hysterical. I saw. It. It's not really news, but it's it's, it's comedy. It's funny. Of course. On your computer, you need to get grammar. Thanks for that. I have pretty she much to get all day, every day. All right. Are you tired of working a nine to five? Want more time for yourself, for your family? Drive ride share. You can make your own hours on your own time, giving you freedom to spend less time working and more time doing what your heart desires. Side effects may cause stress, headache, weight gain, and anxiety. You should not be a rideshare driver if you urinate frequently, <laughs> Jason. tempered, yep. impatient, do not like driving over 18 miles for $3.75. <laughs> Passengers can report you at any moment and get you deactivated without any probable cause. You may get robbed, stabbed, or shot in some cases. Ask your local rideshare drivers for more information. Let's hear from our satisfied drivers. Run your freedom. Thanks, rideshare. Finally quit my nine to five. I haven't paid taxes since I started. <laughs> I pay child support when I want. Oh. <laughs> my wife think I'm at work every Friday night. <laughs> One more number, that girl. <laughs> so drive for ride share. Make your own hours so you can do what your heart desires. That's awesome. That was pretty clever. So that's um, 
Terry tips on YouTube. I've watched some of his other videos too, and they're they're pretty funny. So, what did you hear? Did you hear something? No. Like, like this. No. Okay. No. My house is super creaky. No, so. I was just wondering if. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Um. So yeah, that guy's pretty funny. Uh, really ne- funny. The next one uh, is kind of a crappy one. Um, Was it a video? No, that was our only video. I tried to find news stories like WGN Chicago apparently doesn't do videos, which we had a lot of videos last episode. But yeah, basically Um, the Lyft driver and the motorist that collide with both were drunk or actually they were both driving on influence. What I noticed, they were both under influence of drugs. That's what it said. A Lyft driver? Lyft driver. Are they talking like marijuana or drugs? My guess it was drugs. Um but the mm. sad part of it was the Lyft passenger got killed. Jeez. Aww. So the other two made it. I mean, obviously, they're going to be charged, but... Um, That's horrible. Yeah, go down a little bit, Ben. I think there does say something about drugs. Um, yeah, under the influence of drugs. So, um, what? Just wow. say no. It was yeah. a female driver, too. Was it? Elizabeth guess, Renter. It? I hope it's not marijuana because, A... Marijuana. You go slow when right. you right? I, my guess is it was well, I probably, heard somebody told me that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. So yeah, that's pretty... I've never smoked pot. No? No. Sorry. Me boy. neither. But my birthday is four twenty. It is? Ah. Uh, I know what your birthday present is next year. Um <laughs> it's just a crappy, crappy story. I know. Yeah. Sometimes that is we get horrible. these terrible stories. We had some Sad ones last week, too. But, you know, every time you, you look at the news or you just search Uber Lyft crash and you will see like or shooting or whatever, yeah, like there's, there's never not enough stuff. Uh, information or things to talk about with Uber and Lyft. So. Well, you know, though, it's like flying an airplane. There are thousands and thousands of thousands of airplanes in the sky and barely, you know, yeah. out of all the drivers there are going to be incidences yeah. that's just part of life. Yeah, you know? people don't understand, but what happens is, is Uber and Lyft gets clicks. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there I have seen stories that it it was like uh Uber driver shoots something. Well, come to find out he wasn't even driving. Right. He just happened to be an Uber driver. So, it's right. like you get the clicks, right? People yeah. are like, oh, "Oh, another Uber driver right. going crazy." And you get the clicks and get the the ad revenue right. and all that, and it's just I'm like, "Come on, guys." Like It doesn't I don't think it hurts us, though, in the long run. No, I mean, I haven't seen any down. The only downfall I ever saw was when that um, delete Uber, hashtag delete Uber oh, yeah. was going on, where, um, was it the sex sexual assault or sexual harassment was going on with Travis? Yep. yep. Um, I've not, I've seen an uptick in Lyft and less in Uber, but yeah. anytime there's anything that happens, it's just like, everyone's like, whatever. I think most of you are getting it now that it, we're you're going to get some kooks. Yeah, and I think we're so, like, we just, we care, obviously. Yeah. But all this stuff happens all the time now. Right. So we're des- desensitized. Almost, yeah. In a way. Yeah. Um, another thing I was, uh, what is this under? Oh. So I saw a couple of posts um, about Instapay not working. So this is just me. This is just a reminder for me. There's no link or anything. But apparently, Uber stated the driver had a bunch of packs that had not paid. Like, they bounce. So they wouldn't let the driver cash out. Which is like, that's not my problem. No. Yeah, exactly. I should still get paid. But it's, I don't, I think this is a new thing. Because I've been seeing it more and more on the the, the national groups. Mm-hmm. That they're just like, yeah, you can't cash out. You have to wait. Or you have to take more riders that pay basically that pay their bill so i'm thinking doesn't uber ping the card and say yeah ping it for like 25 dollars or whatever and they're like oh there's 25 dollars in there why is that not happening yeah yeah that's accounting that's we should not have to be well it's not our problem that he doesn't have 25 dollars in the account like right exactly it's your job to i mean my guess is you'd still get your direct deposit but Maybe not. Yeah. What if you try to Instapay and then you stop driving till the following week? Because I always just do direct deposit. I don't. I've never used Instapay. So it's, it's fifty cents. 
Yeah, but it's not that anymore though with the go card, is it? Oh, it's free if you have the go card. Yeah. And that go card is amazing, but whatever. Anyway. No, I there's a big I'm pissed at the go card because Really? You can't sign up for it anymore. The link is bad in the app. What? And it's been like that for 2 months. That's bizarre. Yeah. It, I save so much money from that card. What? Everywhere I go, gas, yeah. you get shop cash at Walmart. I know. Cash back Crazy. all the time. Yeah. yeah. I'm wanting to get it. Yeah. So, um, it's, call them. I'll give you the number on the back of my card. Of GoBank? Yeah. It's not a GoBank problem, it's an Uber problem. Oh, okay. So, I, I mean, I can show you on my phone. You go in there to click on to get it, and it just goes to a blank screen. That's crazy. And it's been a that's been the bug. And I emailed them about a month ago. They're like, yeah, we're working on it. I'm like, working what are you on working it? on? You're a technology company. Why haven't you <laughs> debugged this issue? And yeah. I, I just gave up on it. Yeah. So I would have, I would use it, but yeah. Um, back to what I was saying, I'm wondering if they would not let you do, if you stopped driving, tried to instant pay, they said no. I mean, maybe they would because the the passengers put money in their account, but I think that's messed up. It is messed up. We're supposed to be, I mean, I guess that's an independent contractor thing. If your subcontractor or whoever you're working for doesn't pay you, I mean, I guess. But it's still, it just seems weird. I'm not expecting them to shell out millions of dollars for these people, but it can't be. I mean, it's just weird. I guess don't drive in the ghetto then. Don't pick people up in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> Only pick up people who pay their bills. Right. Uh, next up, uh, tip time. So this, I just kind of added this. This is kind of a growing podcast. Where we're like adding segments or mm-hmm. whatever. Steps to get when you when you have a puker. Have you ever had a puker in your car? Three times. Whoa! Oh, no way. No, but they have not gotten anything on there because uh, I, I uh, have these huge trash bags. Okay. And I said, honey. Just put your head way deep and down and throw up. I said, I'm not upset. Right. I, 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 I'm I okay with you throwing up as long as you do it in the bag. And we'll be fine. And then you don't have to pay the 200 And I'm very calm. Yeah. And, and then they get relaxed. And then they're relaxed enough not to freak out and throw up everywhere. Right. So. Um, That's a good idea. Yeah. And, and so three motherly. times. They go and they take their little bag with them. It's funny to walk, watch them walk the away with shame. their bag. <laughs> and I look before they leave, you know, and uh, I've never had any problem. The, the, the sound with one girl, mm. I had to go home. I, mm. I, I, I was, it made yeah. me sick the whole night. But other than that, this one girl, she was 21. She says, thank you for having scented bags. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so what I typically do is um, I have these Medline bags. So they're smaller, which they're, that is a drawback, but they can mm-hmm. hold it right up to their mouth. But the problem is if they're super drunk Yeah, they, they miss, can't do that. They're um, not coordinated. Enough. I had two people take them over the weekend. I have not used those things ever. And they're like, I'm, I think I'm going to throw up. I'm like, I, I usually keep it right next to me during bar time. And I just hand it to them. And two people took it. And they did not throw up in them. Um, but I've never had even one. I mean, I've had pukers. But they've been silent. Like, I didn't know right. what happened, Stealth or I've had puke. a mystery. I had a mystery puker where <laughs> he puked and down the side of the door, and I only got 80 bucks for it, but it wasn't yeah. super terrible. Yeah. But um, the steps, I mean, I was hoping Nick would add to this, but he didn't, and that's okay, um, because he's really good at this. But, like, what do you do when you get a puker? So, obviously, you pull over. Um, throw the person out, swear at them. Um, That's terrible. I'm just kidding. I do get mad. Like when I know when they say they're gonna throw up, I'm like, bro, do not throw up in my car. Like I do not want. Like I went the, I go the exact opposite because yeah. if it happens, obviously there's people that want the money. I don't want the money. I don't, I don't care. Like I'd rather earn my money Absolutely. the right way. I mean, if it oh, happens, come on. Oh, let's oh no, see. I'm the same way. Thank you. I don't want puke. In my I don't car. want it. I don't want to clean it's it disgusting. up. Disgusting. But uh, basically, you pull over and you take as many pictures as you possibly can. Yeah. And, and there is no step though to post those pictures on Facebook. That is not necessary. Yeah, I don't yes. need to see that. That's Ugh, gross. I, I forgot to lamb base whoever did that recently in the last week. They're like, I finally got a puker. Like we all know what it looks <laughs> yeah. like. I've seen. We don't need a picture. It's like it's like the faces of death back in the day. Like you don't want to so go in. Like, I know what you're talking about. Puke. Like I don't need. To, I know what it looks like. 
I've yep. done it myself. And they get close up. They zoom that thing right. in yeah. and go, look like, at oh, That was a salmon dinner. sandwich. Yeah. That it was they cilantro. Had. Yeah, that's, that, yeah. <laughs> it <was> cilantro. <laughs> so what do you do first? Yeah, you pull over. You take your pictures. Um, I recommend taking the pictures in your camera app and not in the Uber app. Because once you send them to Uber, they're gone. they're gone. So if they said to you, I don't have these pictures, guess what? You've just cleaned up all the puke. It's gone. So take the pictures in your camera app yeah. and upload them that way. Yep. Um, that's kind of like the new thing with the messaging in app now. Um, once you send that or once you're done with the ride, it's gone. So if you have somebody that's giving you trouble or threatening, you should take a screenshot of that, mm-hmm. that messaging yeah. thing. So yeah. more and more people are finally updating their apps. I noticed over the weekend, most of mine were in app chats and not text messages. But we can't send in app messages. Yeah, you can. How? Right on the bottom. I tech I touch that and it takes me to my texting. That means that passenger has not updated uh, their app okay. yet. Yeah. Got once it. they update their app, everyone does it through okay. that way. Yeah. As soon as you go to the messaging, it pops right up. Hey, it says be careful. Don't text and drive. Whatever. Yeah. You know, huh. so interesting. Uh, yep. I don't like it that I have to click eight times just to call them. Call? Please call. You want to call? You, 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 those pop up things. I don't get that. Yeah, I do it with like, Lyft, but not with Uber. Yeah. Do you want a message or call? You press call, and then there's another one. And do you there's have three the update, of them. Do you have the brand new app that they've been talking about? I, 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 you know, yeah, I do because I do have those text messages in the app. No, so. no. So the new app. Remember they had that big announcement mm-hmm. like two months ago. You don't have that. I mean, you can bring it up. I I can tell you if you do, but I don't, I don't remember think that's all out yet. Huh? I don't think we have it. No, I don't think we do either. But she might just randomly. It's been popping up more on the the national groups quite a bit more. Can you tell? Oh no, that's the old one. My writer was rude. I just saw something. Yeah, pissed me off. Uh, are oh. you tattletaling on him? Well, or? yeah, I I was afraid they were gonna. Because you gave him some crap back. No, I never really do that. He just was really weird. And I just had a sense about yeah. that. You know how you could just, people are awkward or right. something like that. So, uh, so I kind of got off topic, but the puking thing, um, you can, if, if it would benefit you to get more money, if you can get a estimate from a detail place, although typically on the weekends, I'm just going to clean it up. I'm not going to let it sit in there until Monday, yeah. <laughs> but you can do that. Um, and then I had something on how to keep someone from puking. And you talked about that a little bit, being motherly and stuff. What I do is I make it an ice box in there. I turn the air conditioning on. Oh, yeah. Even in the winter. It's going to be so cold. I don't care about anybody other passengers. I don't want that. Because you know when you're sick, yeah. you get clammy and yeah. you're sweaty. Like, that's all you want it as cold as possible. Yeah. So, uh, other than that, um, I don't know. There are people that say they lock their windows out so that they don't get any puke yeah. down down the window because if it goes down the crack you got to bust that door panel off yeah and that gets i mean i don't know i mean i sure i could do it but i've never done it i don't really want to do it yeah but with the window up it's got the rubber seals all the way across to hold the window there and so get a big bag it's cheap (laughs) it is cheap 100 for nine bucks just throw their put their head right in there shove it in there and (laughs) it's not a bad idea i mean they're the chances of them missing it, as long as they get it open initially, you yeah. know what I mean? But I might have to think about that. Because I've, I've been a little bit worried about, the, I think it is the med line. I mean, you get them in the hospital. They give them to you in the hospital. And mm. I don't know. It's not a Check bad those idea. from your wife? No, I actually order them on Amazon. I don't trust them. She deals with babies anyway, so yeah. they don't, they're not using that. Okay, questions for our local Facebook group. This is another segment, which can always be funny. Where's the proper place to drop off at the Bob? We kind of touch about that. Front of 20 Monroe, it's Ottawa Street. That's probably the official spot. That's the official spot, although it's going to get crowded there eventually. I mean, there's only really two loading zones. And there's valet there when there's a concert oh, going yeah. on. So, I mean, I try not to park in front of there, but so that could get busy over oh, there. Yeah. Um, so, another question was can I drive with a friend in the car for safety? No. So I think it was a new driver. Uh, I think she was worried about her safety, and man, she did get lambasted in that group. And she I, had somebody join her. I know in the car. Yeah, I know. I did that. <sighs> did you? With my mother, we had so much fun. I'm sure you Everybody did. Everybody loved it. I'm no sure. Way. 
Oh. I'm sure, but what happens if you get too many passengers then? We did. So what'd you do? I just started they just <laughs> subbed them all in there. Oh. But I was a new driver. Oh, okay. I was a new driver. And let... she was scared and I'm like, just come with me and it'll yeah. be fine. We went six rides, that's okay. all. Okay. And uh yeah, there was a, like three times we shoved like four people <laughs> in the back of my You car. never got any complaints, no one reported you or Everyone anything? loved the fact that my mom is, you know, really fun. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and it was the night that the strippers were there from you know that Oh, the Chippendale or uh no, from that movie. Oh so we were dri- driving a bunch of ho- girls. <laughs> What nice save. I don't. I think everyone knows what you were gonna say, but good save. Some girls and oh, we had all so much fun. But no, it's not good to do that, and I don't. I do not do that now. Clearly, because you're full time, and yeah, that, that I think that you gotta is, follow the rules. I think that's one way to get deactivated in a in a hurry. Yeah, is yeah. is that? Yeah, I had. I took a ride. Uh, let's see. It wasn't far. I was at Bell Tire on Plainfield, and I had an appointment at a customer site down the road. It wasn't far. So I requested the Uber, and they pull up, and it's a female driver, clearly from the picture and her name, but she's not behind the wheel. She's in the passenger seat. And then there's some random guy in the driver's seat. So dude's using her account. He's driving, not her. It was so bizarre. That's scary. You didn't take that ride. Did I you? took it because I was just going around the corner. I tend to do stupid things. Oh sometimes. yeah. <laughs> if you listen to some of our podcasts, our older ones, Ben's done some <laughs> dumb things. Like not I just don't you, think about my own safety. Right. When you yeah. when you sit down later at night, you go inevitably I hear you say, Man, that probably wasn't the best idea. Like just yeah. the safety part of it, but did you report them? Oh, I absolutely did. Thank you. And that's another thing. I know, again, off topic tonight, but man, if you have a bad experience as a rider, please report that driver. Yeah. Even if it's me. I, yeah. I, I it's okay. I can take it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But I mean, we we just lambasted, you know, we were talking with Megan up there about that lift driver. I yeah. mean, we were like one star and blah, blah, blah. And right. Just because, do you really want to get that driver again? Yeah. Right. Let's exactly. get as many drivers that are terrible off the road as we can. Absolutely. So. I was hoping that my ride from this weekend, I hope that they would contact Uber because, yeah, I wanted to pocket that money, but it was one of those things where it was an honest mistake. But you still use the time and the gas yeah, to get them there. So, so that's kind of like, I mean. It's almost like too bad, so sad. Yeah, I mean, Ben Ben is super nice. Like, I'm just like, I don't care, man. Like, I'm getting paid. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I worked. I mean, unless, you know, yeah. obviously someone down on their luck or whatever. But um, I've never refunded. I've had a couple of times where I felt really bad for the guy. Like, I've never, but I've never gone in there and said, just refund the rider, but yeah, I did uh, one time, one time, but it was a veteran, and yeah, it's just like you know what, he doesn't need to pay for this ride. Yeah, yeah, that would I, be cool if Uber and Lyft, uh, if you had uh, the proof of the military ID that they just gave him free rides. Yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely. I mean, the sure. driver might get paid, but Uber should just swallow it. Yeah, you know, and just be like, this is our service, but. If it's not a huge ride, I wouldn't mind doing it for free. Maybe a volunteer. Yeah. Whoever, whatever rider wants to take, you know, maybe two a day. Yeah. You know, or something like that. That's not bad. Yeah. If it's a short ride, if it's from like the west side to downtown or whatever, I think I don't, wouldn't have a problem with it. I wouldn't want to do it, you know, four or five times a night. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you have like two a day or something like that. And if everybody did that, they would all have rides. Yeah. It's like paying for somebody in line behind you at Starbucks or whatever. Yeah. 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 Pay it forward. Yeah. Drive it forward. Drive, drive it, forward. it forward. We should start that. Hashtag drive it forward. <laughs> Hashtag me too. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag printer. Oh, man. I This is so bad. Old man printer. Can I say this? I don't, care. I don't know. Okay. You're saying it. So. so you know how, you know, remember on the phones where hashtag was a pound? Yes. Yeah. I always call it pound, right? So at first, that's how I read it. Was you Pound know something? Hashtag me too. I was like, oh my god! 
No. Pound me too. Like that is a terrible name. Yeah, like this is this is so bad. <laughs> Who thought of this? Oh my gosh! Horrible. Eating their comedy hour over here. <laughs> Seriously. All oh, right, man. let's jump on to current events. This is just kind of stuff that I picked out. Uh, the first one is pizza potholes. Pizza potholes. So I got super again no videos, but I got super excited about this Domino's pizza Domino. Dom the Domino. Domino's is helping fill potholes. Well, when I found out, they're just giving money. I mean, I wanted to see because there's I a picture this. somewhere on the yeah. web where a big old uh, asphalt truck is like painted in and Domino's. It says Domino's. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was hoping that's what they would do, but basically they're just. If you if you vote that you have terrible potholes, they'll send some money. I think they're giving like seven ninety nine pizzas or something like that. Hmm. Good for I mean, good for hey, them. They're getting traction. We I caught my eye. Oh, you know absolutely. What I mean? So the next one is kind of sad that Anthony Bourdain. Um, it's not really a long link, but it's just basically about his estranged wife posts a tribute, having a good trip. It doesn't even say the tribute. I'm I was terrible with links this this week guys i'm sorry they're good links but they're just like three sentences but that's sad that guy you know everybody talks about suicide and they're like he had everything he had all this money and it's like that doesn't doesn't matter matter to people that struggle with that stuff man i mean it's just it just doesn't it doesn't matter yeah you know it it's just go on a little bit of a mini rant with this yeah sure so I've seen people post things like, if you're struggling with depression, reach out. Here's the number. Call this number. If you're thinking about suicide, call this number. I don't know if you've ever been in a depressed state, but you're not likely to ask for help if you're depressed. What people should really encourage others to do is man up or woman up. Go be a friend to that person and just say, are you okay? Right. Like. That's going to help a whole lot more than just sharing a number saying, call if you need help. Yeah. Why don't we be the people that go to those who might be struggling and say, hey, I noticed you seem down. How can I help you? In fact, you know, I've listened to some podcasts and they've talked about if you know somebody that regularly struggles with depression and you see these things happen because the the suicide rate will jump 30% in the next couple months. If you see somebody like that. Reach out to him and say, hey, what's up? How are yeah. you feeling? What can I do for you? Or, you know, just, but yeah, I've heard that same thing to talk about. Yeah, no one's going to call on that line. I mean. Yeah. Springtime is the worst for suicides, too, because they don't want to see everything bloom. It's life. And, and, and uh, yeah, so June is a huge month for suicides. Mm. It's just. It's a bummer, man. Like, it's been a rough couple of years. I mean, Chester Benningfield, I think his name from Lincoln Park, and oh, yeah. um, the guy from Soundgarden. Kate I, Spade. Kate Spade, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just, I, I don't understand it. It's a it's a tough subject, you know what I mean? You want to say, oh, you had kids, what are you doing? But yeah, they don't think that. They think that their kids would be better, better off. off without them. Yeah. 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 So, and he's, and Anthony's dealt with, heroin issues yeah. i mean he's he was better i mean he was doing jujitsu like he yeah. had cleaned up his act and it's crazy um but but too bad. it could have sparked i mean kate spade was a couple of days or a week right after him like right and it was so publicized or, or vice versa kate was first either kate was first and then he kate was first yeah. and then anthony and you know maybe that triggered something and yeah. his side and know? why and they uh, the podcast i was listening to was talking about like with us being able to get news so quick that that's probably inspired people uh, that's a terrible word but yeah to be like well if he if he's committed suicide he's got money and fame what am i what am i yeah. i'm just some dude you know or some girl and and I think because of the social media and you can see it and the the details are nasty and gross and, yeah. and people just, I don't know, sucks. It was just today. I was driving. I was getting on uh, 196 from Wilson and there was an ambulance and a fire truck parked underneath the bridge there. And then up on the top of the bridge of the overpass – there's like three police cruisers. Mm. Now, I don't know what was going on, but I have to imagine if there's ambulance and fire truck below and police cars up top, yeah. it's probably a jumper. Yeah. It's just oh, so no. 
Where was that? 196 in Wilson? Yeah. Right over, like, yeah. right over here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hmm. I didn't see anything on the news, but. I didn't either, but it was just, you know, you drive by, drive by stuff like that and your heart just sinks. Yeah. I always like say a little prayer. Like when I see those accidents. I'm yeah. like, oh, I hope you're okay. Whatever happens. Yeah. So. But yeah. Unless you Sad. Park, unless you park in front of the Bob, then get a ticket. <laughs> dumbass. Seriously. You deserve that. Um, Today I learned. So this is uh, a Reddit thread that. Uh, I don't know if you're on Reddit or not, Amy, but it's uh, it's kind of a fun. The app is way better than the desktop. But um, today I learned Phyllis from the office would pay bills and do Christmas shopping online <laughs> from the office computers in the background while the show was going on. That's incredible. Because she didn't have a huge role. So, like, can you imagine how much time, <laughs> downtime she actually right. had, you know, yeah. just listening to what's going on? You're like, oh, I'm doing some shopping. and That is awesome. Yeah. I don't know. Have you watched The Office? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a... It's a classic. In it order to classic. work in my company, you have to know the office. It right. just comes up so much. So do you ever it. um do you ever have like, oh, he's a Jim or she's a Pam or Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm Jim, apparently. You are? Or Dwight. I'm a mix of both. Yeah, I would say more Dwight. Thanks. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. He's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> yeah. Other than Michael. Oh, yes. I've been watching that 70s show on Netflix, like, starting yeah. from the beginning, because I watched right. it somewhat when I was a kid or younger, young adult, and uh, uh, Pam was just on episode, uh, like, season seven, she hmm. was, like, some bridal consultant or something. Oh, I'm like, wow. I know you! Like, it's funny <laughs> that the Cammy, yeah, yeah, that was way before The Office, but, so. And the other one, before you click on it, don't let her see it. Well, I don't want you to see, you didn't see any of their own. Oh, okay. So what Venus fly traps, where would you think they would be native to? Costa Rica. Costa Rica? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Nope. <laughs> you can click on it. I think it's North Carolina. It's north and north. South Carolina, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure. I can't remember. I saw the North. Yeah. Not That's tropical crazy. rainforest. Like, who would have thought? I know. I mean, I don't know why. I kind of went down to some of the the uh, the comments, but I who would have ever guessed that? Like, I think everyone would get that wrong. Yeah. Look at that one. Fossils of carbon furious. Whatever. Six feet wide. Wow. Great singers too. Look at look at the, the <laughs> second comment. The documentary Phoebe. "Little Shop of Horrors" yeah. goes into some detail about this. Apparently, they could also talk, and they ate people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great movie. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> yeah. They're plant fossils. What are they going to do? Become zombies? Oh, I know. Reddit, you can get so deep into this. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. Some of it's just like, look at this guy. They are from car- carbon. All right, Ben. Carboniferous. Two or three times more carbon dioxide than today, they'll probably be fine or not. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> uh, wow. Crazy. I have that standing desk. Right? I had one when I was little. What? Uh, Venus flytrap. Right? Yeah. I think cool. the kids would like it. They sell them at Meyer. Do they? Yeah. Uh-huh. I just so what's them. like the, I wonder what the upkeep for that is. Oh, like, uh, it's not bad. I mean. Just give them a fly. Well, yeah, but I mean, so my wife is a brown thumb. Like, I do all my own flowers. Like, I oh, love okay. flowers. And she's got these, um, what's big now? The succulents. Mm-hmm. She doesn't kill them yet, but those don't like, those need like no water. No, they're, they're good. It's yeah. super weird. Like, yeah. some plants that need so much water, and those mm-hmm. are like cactuses. Like, they, they don't need much water at mm. all. But so that's all I got. That was a long podcast. What are we, we at now? We are at 127. Wow. That's pretty good. So that's pretty good. We try to keep it under an hour, but, you know, it is what it is. Good storytelling. Do you have anything else you want to uh, touch on? Um, we can go for three hours if you want. <laughs> we'll all be tired tomorrow, but. <laughs> what time is it? 1030. Uh, 10.30. Oh. I don't. Okay. Well. Not for this time. Thank anyway. you so much for coming. You brought a lot of interest. You know. It, when you bring a new person on, I always get some tips, and I got some from you with the garbage bag. I mean, it's obvious, but you brought in a good thought about like being calming and motherly, and obviously I wouldn't be motherly instead of me going, dude, 
please don't puke in my car. I like, can't see you going, it's okay, sweetie. Right. They're there. <laughs> now, right. now. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, one thing I will say, and you did bring it up uh, before the podcast, but you do need to get a dash cam. Like, I do need that. It's worth the money. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Just for peace of mind, even if you don't use anything off from it, it's yeah. just, it's perfect to yeah. be like, and I think Nick's had some uh, success with that, but if Uber questions, I'd be like, well, I've got dash cam video if y'all want to see it. Yeah. They're like, this is what happened. And you yep. said that they're like, oh, no, it's good. We'll, 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 yeah. we'll vote in your favor or whatever they, whatever. I like about. just to catch all the funny stuff that happens in my car. Yeah. yeah a lot that of the stuff is funny. Yeah. I mean, it's just, people are idiots sometimes. So. I love it though. It's fun. It, it is, is fun. I like I was telling her upstairs, I, I went for like a month and a half and didn't drive. I'm like, oh, I gotta get back out there. Like I kinda no, miss the it's shenanigans. The drama. Well, you do have to be in the mood for it. That's all I always you, tell people. You do. If you're grumpy, you might as well go home. Because yeah. totally. I was people are like, Oh, how is it like Uber driving? I'm like, think about being the sober person at a party every <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> You know Very what I mean? Yeah, like, ten minutes. average ride's probably like yeah. 10 minutes. Like, yeah. everyone gets in, they're all having the time of your life, yeah. and you're working. Yeah. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. But sometimes they're fun, and, but. So. Sometimes, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. Sometimes, I'll, like, I'll be, you know, getting in and getting pumped up, and I'm like, God, if you want me to talk to somebody, bring them to me. I'm ready. It's a good <laughs> night. I will never do that again. No. Oh, my God. I felt like, like Dr. Phil the whole night long. Well, that's He's a like, whole other topic about being a like a bartender where you yeah. get everyone's problems. He's like, I'm going to, all right, Amy, you want that? Yeah. <laughs> I told it. my wife I'm going to start carrying some of her business cards. She's getting into private practice counseling. And oh, I had nice. one passenger who just the stand, standard line of questions like, what do you do? What yeah. does your wife do? Said so my wife's a counselor. He goes, I need one of those. All hey, right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do anything as a side hustle? I, I was, things are just coming to my mind. Like I do. Other I, than Uber and Lyft, like, do you have any thing that you would hand a business card out for? Like, no. I like printers. Sell thirty one bags. Or I do. I, I don't really wish. I don't know if I should talk about it. Oh, you don't have to. I was but, just curious. I, I don't really have business cards for it. Yeah, pound drugs. Pretty much. No. <laughs> well, um, legally, yeah. Oh. Uh, for cancer patients. Oh, and stuff. okay. So yeah, it's all legal and everything, and I have my cards, but um, I put that on hold the last year. Oh, okay. Um, but no, I don't. Oh, I'm just curious. But I don't the, people oh. ask me for cards. Can we call you when you know you get home? Stuff like that. So, so I recommend you make those personal connections with people, especially you yeah. being a – now, um, the first winter I worked, I don't work a lot in the winter in my full-time job. I did do that. I did get contacts, and I did – now, I still ran it on the app. Sure. But, you know, especially if it's a long ride, I mean, might it, as well do that. I'll tell you, my friend, um, she said, hey, I don't want to hire Uber. Will you drive me? Mm-hmm. And paid me thirty dollars, and then her brother said, "I'll give you." This was a couple weeks ago. I'll give you a hundred dollars if you drive me home. It was from Forest Hills to uh, Naps Corner or Nap Corner, whatever. A hundred dollars. I said, "Make it one hundred and twenty-five." I thought he was. I knew this kid forever. <laughs> I thought he was kidding, and he he actually gave me a hundred dollar bill. Jeez. So oh, I geez. I'm thinking, you know, it's time to go to Vista Printing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I I would always personally, I would run it on the app. And then if they want to tip you cash, just because for insurance yeah. things. Yeah. So there's liability You're with right. that. Um, yeah. Now, if it's a friend, you can just say that. But if you do a ton of those cash rides and you guys get in an accident and yeah. Uber finds out, they right. can deactivate you. Right. I mean, we've all done it. It happens yeah. once yeah. a month where someone just hands you cash and like, hey, will you take us? Right. We all do it. So you do take yeah. a chance. But if you do it regularly, I would just say... Yeah, I will do it. I will pick you up, but let's run it on the app. And if you want to give me any more money, let's just give it in cash. Well, these these people are people I know too. So, yeah. You know, no, I mean, much. I'm just throwing the caveat out there. Yeah, like, we all it's do it. It's the right thing to do. Yeah, that's we for all sure. do it, but you do yeah. take a chance of you yeah. know getting 
caught if you do get an accident. They're like, oh, why weren't you on the app? And you know, you, absolutely, they always just say, yeah, just tell them it's your friend, even though even if it is, it's even better. But hmm. all right, let's wrap this up. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us, guys. Hope you had a great time listening to the podcast. We had a ton of fun recording this one. You can find us at Twitter at GR Rideshare, Facebook, GR Rideshare Adventures, and our YouTube videos at GR Rideshare Adventures. Please like, follow, and subscribe. Um, Please leave comments, questions, anything. Reach out to us. We'd love to connect with you. Have a great day. 